it's not quite Einstein's theory of relativity, but the GCSE maths question asked yesterday has left students so angry the subject has been trending on Twitter. There are now calls for exam boards to take the difficulty of the question into account when marking papers. Well, with me is Kate Bellingham, TV presenter and former maths teacher. She's going to uh, explain it all. But first of all, let's just look at this uh, terror question. Here we come, GCS Maths. This was asked yesterday, incidentally. There are N sweets in a bag. Six of the sweets are orange. The rest of the sweets are yellow. Hannah takes a sweet from the bag. She eats the sweet. Hannah then takes at random another sweet from the bag. She eats the sweet. The probability that Hannah eats two orange sweets is one third. Okay, okay, easy so far, but this is the killer. Show that n squared minus n minus 90 equals zero. Where did that come from? That is the bit that I think makes people feel a bit nervous about this question. But it is just a standard probability question that then becomes a standard bit of algebra. All right, the key thing is that n sweeps. That's the number of sweeps in the bag. Let's just look how you, how you work it out then. Right. Well, okay. we're in. So we know that the probability of uh, two orange sweets is one third. We've been told that. Yeah. So we know the probability of taking, um, getting an orange sweet the first time round is six over n. Because they're n sweets and, and six of them are, uh, are orange. Are. Absolutely. Then the second time round, you've got, she's eaten a sweet, you've got one less uh, orange, if she's got an orange already, and you've got one less sweet in the pack. So there's five. And Over the prob one. probability rule is, um, if you want uh, both probabilities, this and that, to happen, then you have to uh, multiply it. So you want both to be orange sweets and you multiply it. That's, that's the end of the probability bit. Uh, then you just come on to a straight bit of algebra, you, you move that around, you manipulate it, and you end up uh, with uh, this equation at the bottom. I can take you through it if you want. No, so you have <laughs> proved that n squared minus n equals... 90. Now, how difficult is that? Your, your daughter's been using it at the moment. Yeah, she was fine on it, except she couldn't remember whether she had to multiply or add. And I thought, well, yeah, fair enough, but she was absolutely fine with the algebra on it. I think what, what gets people is that you've practiced doing probability, you've practiced doing algebra, and this throws both at you at the same time. Do, do you think this is a stinker? I think it's hard, but I think it is a doable GCSE question. Uh, and it tests those who know how to apply their knowledge, just not just reproduce it. Now, if a lot of children have found this difficult, will that therefore reduce the scores, the average scores, and will that be taken into account in grades? Uh, what happens is that uh, the exam boards look as a whole, and if it is clear that uh, the students, uh, lots of students have had problems with this, they will then take that into account. They will say, okay, maybe that was too much of a stinker question. So people shouldn't worry. Um, uh, but it does, for, for future exams, bear in mind you might be asked yes. to do two things together. Well, Darshini, of course, uh, being a maths whiz, says n equals 10, in fact. Uh, well, if you then go on to solve this as a quadratic equation, which is the next thing, you then find out that n equals 10, so we know that there are 10 sweets in the back to start with. Okay. <laughs> now we know, but, uh, they may not have been able to do the maths, but uh, quite a lot of wit around. Uh, Ethan tweeted, uh, Hannah eats some sweets, calculate the circumference of Jupiter using your tracing paper and a rusty spoon. Uh, Matt, uh, Matty Dickens says, I hope Carl lost his money, I hope Raksha crashed, I hope Mary's conservatory collapsed, and I hope Hannah choked on her sweets. Uh, Joseph <laughs> Joe Reeve says, why would Hannah choose orange and yellow sweets? They're the worst tasting ones, at least red and purple. Come on, love. <laughs> Uh, how did n minus 90 equal naught relate to Hannah and her sweets? That's a good one. And uh, my favourite one actually is from Hannah. I don't know if we've got that one there. Uh, a girl called Hannah. Uh, there's Ethan again. Why does Hannah have so many sweets anyway? Uh, Natasha says, I just love how I level across the country. I hope Hannah gets diabetes and dies from her excessive sweet intake. That's perhaps a bit much from Maddie. Uh, and a bit of cyberbullying there. And uh, there's one from Hannah. I'm sorry about my sweets, okay. <laughs> so what do you, what do you make of well, that? Well, I, I, I was, it's just very stressful time doing GCSEs, isn't it? Actually, the thing that I like is we've got so many people talking about maths, and that suits me fine. Okay, we do have a statement from the exam board. Uh, they say, 
uh, a spokesman for Pearson at LXL said, our exam papers are designed by an experienced team of expert teachers with a deep understanding of the subject matter. They make sure our papers are set at the appropriate level to test the full range of students' abilities. In the event that any one paper turns out to be more or indeed less challenging than usual, our marking and grading processes always ensure students are awarded the grade they deserve. Okay, there we have it. Thank you very much. My pleasure. Far more complex than that, there's been a very important tennis match.